So why do you think video is so critical to an entrepreneur these days? So the beauty about <clears throat> video is this. It's one to many. We may have 10,000 viewers from our show today, okay, your show today. Uh, it's um, almost eternal in that uh, I think you're going to ask me to share a story I shared uh, the first time on video in Cancun about five years ago. And I probably have a, a, a person a month reach out to me and say they saw that video somewhere. Um, I, it's not on my website. It's not on my YouTube. Um, I shot it for someone else. And so, but, but it's maybe not eternal, but it's close. Video is close. And then two, um, you know, when I started doing video a year ago, I literally had my smartphone and a selfie stick, and that was it. I have all kinds of toys today um, and two studios, and then there are studios like this beautiful facility we're in today. Well, Jeff put something. This is Jeff Crilly. This mm -hmm. is his show. This is his location. We love Jeff Crilly, so yeah. go and into so, and, that. And so there's all kinds of different um, methods to deliver video, but uh, one that I think will really resonate with our watchers today is this. You know how when you first meet a prospect and you feel like they're not being totally open with you and they're, um, they're withholding a little information, they don't want to give you ammunition for you to sell them. And so, you know, they're in that, hey, I'm trying to figure out if I like you and trust you phase. And, and that's just human. When someone has seen your video once, twice, or three times, by the time you talk with them, they're going to think that you are old friends. It's a totally different um, attitude from a prospect than someone that's a true uh, cold contact. Sure. Well, years ago when I started my marketing effort, part of it, and, and again, it was, it was automated processes. So I put this thing together to where if I made a contact or if I didn't cold call, if I put this thing in here, it would automatically run, send you a letter, send you a fax. This is the good old days where email was big. Uh, it started converting from fax to email as, as they go. But I got up to sending 20,000 pieces of information a month to companies. And that's how I became very good in the business development. Uh, the, the last company I was with that I had other people, there were 68 business development people in that company. They were about a $7 billion company. The last year I was there, I did 38% of the total volume of that company and 67 did the rest. Yeah. So it was like, okay, I need, need to say I was number one and I'm a CFO, but yeah. I learned how to reach out and brand myself, go out, touch them, touch them, touch them, follow up, touch them, touch them. And that's the secret of, of getting them to a warm contact. Mm -hmm. They think they know you. Mm -hmm. Now, bringing that to today's situation, the video cuts out about 15 of those touch efforts, or at least four or five. Yeah. So the video gives, when you get off the video, they, they have an impression, hopefully it's a good one, but they have an impression. And coming off that video, like you said, you already have a warm feel if you can get the opportunity to actually interact with that person. Thank <laughs> you.